Sir, thank you for this opportunity, sir. Sir, I would like to strongly oppose the Honorable President Sri Ramnath Kovindji's speech on January 31st, 2022, in this August House. The Thanksgiving motion. Sir, Honorable Pal Sahib, Bodhi Buzurg or Varish Neta hai, Maraj Chairman Sahib bhi hai. But he has made a factual error in his speech mentioning about Rahul Gandhi chairing the Mandrega bill. Uh, I suppose he would have mentioned or he must have thought that the bill he told of in a press conference was related to a bill against corruption. Public representatives ke corruption ke baare mein ek jo bill laaye te, uske khilaaf Rahul ji ne bola tha, aap shayad uske baare mein bol rahe ho, kyunki he is a very, very senior and very respected member of the house, so uh, I'm pretty sure he won't speak without any kind of statistics or facts. Sir, I am opposing this motion because there was no concrete plan to strengthen the economy of this country, nor the, or to address the issues faced by the common man during the last two years of COVID. The Honorable President mentioned about moving a fast, building a strong foundation for the next 25 years, following the mantra of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas, or Ab Bol Ki Sabke Prayas Ke Saath. Sir, is Sarkar ne 2019 mein jab shapat liya tha, Manne Pradhan Mantri ji ne bola, Sabka Saath or Sabka Vikas. Uske baad 2020 mein bola sabke saath, sabka vikas, sabka vishwas. Aur ab sabke prayas ke balre mein bol rahe Sir, is sarkar ne is desh ke kisano ke saath nahi diya hai. Is sarkar ne is desh ke covid marisoon ke saath nahi diya hai. Is sarkar ne lakho karoro naujawanon ko rozgari nahi diya hai, unka saath nahi diya hai. इस सरकार ने इस राज्य के इस देश के जितने भी पिछड़े वर्ग हैं जो शोषित है जो युवा है जो मछुआरे हैं जो दलित है आदिवासी है पीड़ित है किसी के साथ इस सरकार ने नहीं दिया तो इसलिए ये जो मुद्दा है मंत्रा जो बोल रहा है मान्य अध्यक्ष जी सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास ये गलत है इस सरकार ने सिर्फ साथ दिया है अदानी के साथ दिया है इस सरकार ने विश्वास दिलाया है सिर्फ अंबानी को और इस सरकार ने विकास इन दोनों का ही किया है सर अदानी और अंबानी का विकास के लिए काम करने वाला सरकार है बीजेपी के सरकार नरेंद्र मोदी के सरकार मैं यकीन से विश्वास से यह बात बोल सकता हूं और सर There are many reasons to oppose the motion because there are no concrete methods whereby in a situation like the COVID pandemic, where when we have a global pandemic in place, there are no COVID relief packages in this country announced by the Honorable President or the govern government. Sir, there are many people who died of COVID there were many colleagues of ours, many members of parliament, mem members of legislative assembly, former members of parliament, who we dearly know. There were, COVID has no religion, people from the BJP, people from the Congress. Rajya Sabha ki Rajiv Satav ji, hamare saath jo Vasant Kumar ji ta, Kanya Kumari se, Suresh Angadi, jo mantri ta is cabinet mein. Bhoat saare log kho gaya hum COVID mein. Because of COVID, we lost lives. But there are thousands and lakhs and lakhs of people who, have, who are faceless, who are breadwinners of families, who are fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters who have lost lives in COVID. But the central government has not declared a package, has not declared something for the family of the COVID victims. Sir, it is quite unfortunate. How can we deal a pandemic situation in a country like India, 
We know when the Great Depression happened in the United States in 1930, we know there was a direct benefit transfer method, DBT method. John Keynes, the Keynesian theory is well known across the globe, a well known economist. He said that when you deposit 10,000 rupees, for example, to a person's account, they are going to directly spend it to the market. They are going to regenerate the market. They are going to strengthen the economy. That is how uh, economy is strengthened in times of pandemic, in times where we have a great economic recession in place. That is how a responsible government should act. But unfortunately, our government hasn't done anything, not just not done anything, they have cut down the 25,000 crore of Manrega, which was very vital in providing jobs to many urban and rural population. The direct, it is a, it is a form of direct benefit transfer for creating lakhs and lakhs of people with jobs. The Manrega uh, account or the budget for the Manrega was reduced by 25,000 crore, which is quite unfortunate. Sir, the small-scale industries of our country, the MSME sectors, the tourism industry, the life and livelihood of many are disturbed in this COVID, but there is no relief. Nothing has been told about them. The moratorium which was in place for the last uh, few, uh, few months was not extended. The people who have taken loans for these uh, SM, small-scale industries, MSMEs, for many industrial purposes, educational loans, the moratorium is not in place, whereby many children, many young people are going to be at the verge of a suicide. Sir, there are many things uh, the president have mentioned. I would like to mention some in which the Jal Jeevan mission, Jal Jeevan mission is a very important aspect. Hargar Jal is a very important project, very creative project of the central government, but unfortunately, the source of water for the Hargar Jal project is not enough to supply ample quantity of water. If there is no source, I don't think the Har Jal, Har Gar Jal project of the Jal Jeevan mission would be a success. The fishermen of our country, I asked a question in this August house. After 2015, I've got a reply after 2015, no fund was received from the central government to Kerala state for preventing uh, uh, for building the sea wall, sea walls for the fishermen community, the life and livelihood. We know the cyclones which have affected, whenever there is a sea erosion, we know many of the fishermen are suffering quite a lot because there are no ample sea walls in our coastal belt. But unfortunately, the central government has not allotted a single rupee after 2015 after the UPA government. It's quite unfortunate, sir. Sir, Pradhan Mandri Gadi Shakti Yojana is a very important project. Uh, Pradhan Mandri itself and the ministers are very well explaining what the project is. A single uh, multi-model transportation system which would connect our entire transportation system, which is a creative project. In my constituency, I've met the, the Honorable Minister for Railways just left the house. The Honorable Minister for Railways, Piyush Goyal, when he was a minister, the present minister, I've gone to everybody. There are 110 acres of land in my constituency, in Arnakulam, in the central part of Cochin where uh, it is around 5,500 crore worth of land. And it is now a marshalling yard of the Indian Railways. We can start 10 to 15 tracks, platforms, and build a beautiful central railway station, which will connect the metro rail, which would connect the water metro, which would connect the mobility hub. This would be first of its kind in India. When we talk about uh, Pradhan Mandri Gadi Shakti Yojana, our Honorable Leader Rahulji told there are two Indias. Why are you not considering the southern part of India as a part of India? Why is this project, which is one of its kind, where water, rail, road, and Indian railways can, and metros can uh, perform in, in one single ticket, you can travel in all these, uh, uh, these transportation systems, the state-of-the-art transportation system. But unfortunately, our government uh, it has been pending with the railway department for the last three years. Nothing has happened. Sir, Kochi Metro Rail, uh, one of the finest metro rails in the country. Sir, this metro rail was started in 2012. 
When the UPA government was there, the initial detailed project report was accepted. The second phase was accepted. accepted. The chief advisor of Kochi, uh, Kochi Metro Rail was Dr. E. Sridharan. Uh, still now, the second phase cabinet clearance has not been got from the central government. The public investors board clearance, we had, they had dragged it for two, two and a half years and just gave it.